Hi, welcome to your tutorial number 12 for CSCI 130 Introduction to Programming. In this tutorial, we are going to use if statements to mo modify the um, example that we did in our last posting from last week about a multiple of i. Just to review that posting, in that the user was given a number in that text box, and then when the user was clicking on this text box, we were getting a result that was either a zero or a number different from zero like in this case and then we were given an explanation in this label well this type of uh, problems this, this this type of applications are what we call not friendly no user friendly because we're asking the user to make a decision by themselves i mean we want i mean a user friendly program the program will decide and will tell you, you know what, the number that you gave me is a multiple of 5 or the number that you gave me is not a multiple of 5 here we're asking the user to think and say look, do you see a 0 on that label? if you see a 0, it's a multiple of 5 do you see a 0 here? no? you don't see a 0? ok, it's not a multiple of 5 ok, we couldn't do it in a different way before because we didn't know anything about if statements so what we're doing now is we're redoing this application and we're gonna take away this label and when the user clicks on the button we're just gonna say it is, it isn't a multiple of 5 so we're gonna now use uh, if statements ok so I'm going over here, I lost my original file so you're gonna type again so I got my form over here and then on the form I'm changing the text say multiple of 5 just like I have before now it says please enter a number and a text box ok so now I need a label and in my label say please enter a number I need a text box um, text box right here ok now what else then we need a button that says if number entered is a multiple of check if number entered ok so button so I got the button and we just gonna have a, no, a label and that's it so now we go over here and then we gonna add a label and then gonna go and change where it says out of size it says true and changing that to false and then where it says border style I'm changing that to fixed single and then where it says text taking the text away ok so I think that's enough ok so now we're ready so we're gonna double click on the button now we're gonna define a variable dim x as integer I'm expecting that to be given by the user then when I said x equals the value given on text box one dot text okay now I need to make a decision right now and then I'm gonna say if that's when I'm gonna use an if statement then I'm gonna put parentheses then I type in then and then uh, uh, let me finish so I say if sorry x mod phi equals zero then um, so what I'm checking here is uh, before I was uh, displaying the operation if the remainder of dividing x by phi equals zero that means it is a multiple of phi otherwise it isn't then here in my then I'm gonna have two sections one when it is true and the else part when it isn't 
so when it is true then on my label and I need the name of the label so I click on the label it says label 2 you may have a different name depending on the order of the labels how you to drop the labels on the form so I'm going back to the code and then I say label 2 that text equals and then in quotations remember because there's an string we're gonna display it is a multiple of five the else part I want on the label to dot text equals to say it's not a multiple of five okay so I think we're done we're just gonna press F5 so I got this over here then I'm gonna type a number 25 click it is a multiple of 5 so now this is what we call friendly because I'm not asking the user to think about it I mean I'm just giving you the answer so now I'm gonna say 32 click it's not a multiple of 5 now something else that we did before we're gonna modify the text change so we're gonna say when the text changes we're gonna say label to that text equals empty string that means nothing there so I'm checking just one more time why because let's say I do 30 is that a multiple of 5? yes when I'm typing 37 it's not a multiple but now uh, it is I, I don't have the decision yet because I didn't click on the button so now it cleaves the, the box and I say that now it gives me the decision is not a multiple of 5 so if I change the text box look at how that cleaves the label okay so we're ready so what we're doing is I'm gonna have an example where it is and then I'm going to create something like what we did before so now I'm gonna save this as my multiple of 5 updated I'm taking this away from my previous posting then I'm doing this remember we press the keys out to print the screen now I'm going to my word document and then I paste it there and I'm gonna paste one when it is it like 57 it's not so I'll print the screen go back over here there I'm displaying two so it's what I call sample executions so that's my name sample executions now for code I'm taking this code away, away from that go over here and I'm gonna select the code from here right click copy and paste it and then remember to write some learning experiences on your own when you were working on this program so I'm gonna save it and I'm going to D12 unit 3 decision making so I'm clicking on this and then I'm gonna compose I'm calling this my posting one so here I'm pasting my code too remember to write your uh, um, learning experiences okay and then I'm gonna add a file we browse and look for the file that I call multiple of five updated say open upload we're done so post it and be sure that you look ch checking D12 that your name is there so I see my name so it's posted it says posting one so very good um, so we um, on my next tutorial I'm gonna explain give you more examples about the use of the if statement so hope to that you can uh, check my next tutorial. Bye.